Chief Bradley move-in looks a lot different this year. It is usually a process ended by the weekend, but of course, because of COVID, it is now, it is now spread out over five days. Paige Blansey has a look at the school's safety measures as this unusual semester kicks off. Starting Wednesday, students will be limited to three helpers to get their items into their dorm, but you have to bring your own help instead of relying on campus volunteers. Can't do that this year. So we have some volunteers who will be directing people where they need to go. It's all no touch. Bradley student Ian Ward said it's not the same as years past. I was moving into a dorm last year and it was just like constant clutter. Like, yeah, but just very different from now. Students will have their own time slot where they're allowed to move in. Bradley will provide carts for students at those times. We've been scenario planning since March, trying to figure out if this, then what? So we feel like the plans that we have in place are the best that we can, but it's going to require everyone to follow them. That includes expectations and guidelines for staff and students to wear masks at all times on campus. If you do not follow the guidelines and expectations, there could be disciplinary action. But really what we want is the students hold each other accountable. Employees hold each other accountable. The only way we're going to make it through this semester is if everyone does their part. And Ward says he's stepping up to the challenge. Asking people to wear masks, I don't really think it's that hard of a thing to ask. I think it's actually pretty easy, um, but I hope just everybody can follow it so like the school can say stay safe. The bulk of move in activity on campus, along with rerouted traffic, is expected to be over by 5 p.m. on Sunday. Charles says the precautions they have put in place are not only for the safety of Bradley's campus, but for the entire city of Peoria. Reporting in Peoria, I'm Paige Blanzy, 25 News.